Manigos uh, has a lot of fights. So veteran, uh, siya po yung naka white and red and golden white. Ito yung taga prime stag na si Michael Adolfo. And pa, we have yet to see a knockout dito sa event natin. Mm -hmm. This could be the first. Uh, well, if if you uh, know Michael Adolfo, he's gonna try and go for a knockout. Michael Adolfo uh, from prime stags, the, the painted wire ang tawag sa kanya. Pintados. Pintados. And uh, let's see, uh, I want to give you a brief background dito sa kalaban ni Michael Adolfo as I'm looking at his, bo his box wreck. Uh, nakalaban na dito to si Luis Neri, Hiroaki Tishigawara, he's a well-traveled man, Drian Francisco, Giovanni Escaner. These are guys na talagang uh, matitinde, so he has a lot of experience. Yeah, the Michael Adolfo is a uh, similar style of uh, angas ng Pinas. Uh, Quattro alas. Oh. So, makikita nyo dito kung anong estilo niya. Makikita naman. Mm, pati book, eh. Same style. <laughs> <laughs> yung book naman, Albert Pagara. <laughs> Albert. Pero, para na rin may kulay. Kasi, eh. so, ibig sabihin, flamboyan dito mga ito. Mm, yun naman. And of course, that uh, hairstyle was also popularized by Manny Pacquiao. Yung parang may kulay-kulay na. Back in the early days. Back in the early days. days. No? But this Kano is a veteran fighter, veteran boxer, mm. so magandang laban to. Veteran, sinusubukan nila kagad ang kanilang batang prospect na si Michael Adolfo. And Kano is here to test who he could counter a short punch. Nakita, <laughs> kita, well. kita nyo na hindi, hindi takot si Michael Adolfo na sumunto. Yeah, tamaan. pero parang ano eh, uh, uppercut Good right hand. ng street fighter yung Good uppercut niya. Medyo dumatalon siya sa suntok ha. And I'm a little bit worried about that. I think it's good, but they need to control it. Like, good uh, uppercut, eh, pumasok. Like, what uh, alas? Mm -hmm. Diba, siyang rayo, parang rayo kin. Uh, rayo, uh, uh, sure you can. Good uppercut from uh, Michael Adolfo. Mabihigat yung sundok niya, Michael Adolfo. Napapansin naman na mabigat talaga yung sinta. Very stiff job. Yun na, uh, I think matutuwa si Champ Melindo doon sa... Sa mga ganyan style. Michael Adolfo throwing with bad intention. And good body shot doon sa exchange na yun. Maaga pa lang talaga. Walang feeding out round, no? Nag-banatang ka agad sila. Mm, nice one! Na-overhand na right siya doon. Na-take it again. But he took that very well. Itong si Adolfo. That's why kahit gaano ka veterano, kahit gaano ka ganda, hindi ka ganda yung record, kailangan talaga you still keep your guards up kasi one punch can change the fight. That's right. Parang one punch can change the world. <laughs> <laughs> One little act of kindness. There you go, pahabol pa ng left hook. Medyo nagrogi pa yata ng konti. Nikita nyo naman. Nikita talaga na veteran mo siya. Si Kanoy. May ano lang ba? Parang ano, pinakain na yung suntok ni Adolfo. Saka parang kayang-kaya niya. Sanay na. Sanay na. Pero sa akin lang, kung matamaan ang body shot nitong si ano, Kanoy, yun ang problema. Mm. Kasi kitang-kita naman sa kaha. Kung nakikita mo sa kaha, kung nakitamaan ang body shot, yun ang uh, matitignan uh, mat natin mamaya. Ayun. So, alam ng boxing area, no? 
And again, this is uh, Adolfo and Cano at the Combati 14 event, Battle of Mactan. Dito yan sa Hoopstone Arena. Thank you very much, Omega Sports Promotion, QM Builders, and the city of Lapu-Lapu. We now go to our second round of this fight. Problema lang dito kaya may kaulog po. He's targeting the head. Yung muka talaga yung target niya. Gusto niya talaga yung muka. Oo. Gusto niya patawain sa muka. Pero ang problema, itong si Kanoy, despite his 10 losses, isang beses lang siya na knockout. So it's going to be a challenge for Adolfo. I think that's what Adolfo is trying to do. Try to go for a knockout. Isa mga suntok niya, you know? Yung buelo. You can see that there are forces. Nahirap na matatumba yung veteran sa muka. Dapat sa katawan. Hindi mo yata nasabihan eh. Kasi yun nga, yung mga veterano, they have very good punch resistance. Kaya nilang tumanggap sa muka especially. Sanay na. With the body shot daw, nakapos lead boom. Yan ang head eh. Tanay control the punch. Oh, look at that. Ano yung genre yan? Ano yan? Ooh, ooh, wrestling. Parang mag-hadukin mag eh. Uh, kanina may uh, shuryuken, ngayon may hadukin. Showboating itong si Michael Lodolfo. With the right sweep. So, puro malakas yung binibitawan ni Adolfo. Malakas na sa Mm, nice uppercut. Nice pick. Nice uh, good footwork. And yun nga, it's a good that you mentioned that Milan, no? Kasi kung puro malalakas yung suntok niya, minsan kailangan mo ibahin yung momentum, tsaka yung speed, yung timing. Yes, kasi, you can't... Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Kasi pag hindi mo iniba yun, nababasa ng kalaban yun, veteran yung kalaban eh. So oh. nababasa, mapapagod ka. Isa pa yun. Hindi, yeah, napapagod ka kasi puro malakas. Like that, no? Yung uh, sabi nga nila, mas nakakapagod sumuntok sa hangin. Yes, of course. That's very true. Kasi pag nakakatama ka, you gain confidence. Yes. Yeah, and you know that there's a result at least, no? If gusto ni Adolfo na makatama, lagi makatama, dapat yung katawan, pirayan niya. Like what you mentioned earlier, mas malaki yung real estate sa, sa bodega. Yes. Ang dami mong pwedeng patamaan. <laughs> Not only that, mukhang medyo flat-footed na rin itong kalaban niya. Yes. Hindi naman masyado tumatalon. Matalo yung tamaan sa katawan. Yeah, oo. And medyo nagiging uh, wild na yung uh, punches ni Adolfo at this uh, junction. But uh, Adolfo is looking for knockout to the head. Yun na nga. Uh, we would like to see na bumodega naman siya. Yeah. Head talaga yung gusto niya. Yes, kitang-kita naman. And just a few more seconds. Ooh. Wild. That's a big miss at the end. Nonetheless, he still continues to be the aggressor. And let's look at the replay. Ito yung nakatawa ng uppercut, oh. Adolfo attacking. Smarties. The official outfitter of Omega Boxing Gym. Tell Barber Shop, the official groomer. Again, this is Michael Adolfo together with his coach, Fernando Con from Prime uh, Fight Gym. And for those that are watching, we still got uh, a number of fights on our main event Christian Aroneta versus Jack Wood. That will be exciting. Continue with round number three. So let's see if, if in this third round, Adolfo would, would switch it up, change his timing, change his speed ng punches niya. Yeah, not every time throw a power punch. And uh, Milan Milito would say, go back to the jabs. Power. Yeah, puro, puro malakas yung sato. Saka, yung punteria niya talaga, yung muka. Dapat sa katawan yung punteria niya. Yan, yeah. ang counter si Adolfo doon. Head again. Ngayon, gusto niyo ng highlight sa ulo. Gusto niyo magpugod ng ulo. Di ba? Ulong-ulo. Oh, yeah. 
You can see in the upper cut, ulo talaga yung target niya, oh. That's a good right to the body. Siya yung body shot, siya yung binabody shot ngayon. Veteran moves. And that... Veteran mo kasi yung kalaban, dapat kinahin mo yung body shot. Dahil magaling yung mga veteran sa head. Alam mo kung totoo siya yun, si Kano is having some success dito sa round na ito. Yeah, and he's the aggressor and he's really pushing it. And this is why very important itong mga ganitong boxers tulad ni Kano. Kahit marami silang talo, sila yung nagtitest sa mga boxers na up and coming. Yes, that's good. And for this instant, no, she's going to pass up, she's going to advance. The change of scenario, the overhand right, and Michael Adolfo getting a brunt of punishment right here now. Good uppercut from Canoy. And Migos on the retreat now, si Adolfo, and sneaky right hand. Parang si, si ano pa ang naubusan, ha? Dahil umuurong siya, naubusan niya ito ng hangin din, eh. And Kanye is looking like the younger fighter <laughs> yes. dito sa round na to. Kailangan na makatama ng body punch. Kailangan na body punch siya. Yun ang kula, no? Kasi aatake uh, yan dahil alam niya yung ano, Kanye na hindi magbabody punch siya dahil po. Kaya umatake. Dahil nasasaktan niya ng body punch. Hindi yan nasasaktan ng, ano, ng mukha. Kasi alam niya kung paano mag-roll. Yeah! Oh, shoot! What a right and hand! And he's groggy! He is groggy! And Adolfo is hurt. And the prospect is in trouble. Adolfo. Good right hand again from Canoy. Then Canoy and Adolfo going head to head, toe to toe. My goodness. Look at that. Canoy is smelling blood, Milan. Yes, I think Adolfo is out of it. What should Adolfo do in this position? He needs to clinch. He needs to clinch. Look at this. His body language is not good. There's 10 seconds left. And I think Adolfo is going to survive this round. Just survive this round. Oh, shoot. Look at that legs. Wala. And Adolfo. What a round for the veteran, Jason Canoy. Look at this. The veteran. Don't disregard me. Good right hand. And he follows it up. And another one. Nakatama na naman siya dito ng isang solid. Eh. Boom. What an overhand Boom. right. And Adolfo, look at his legs, his wobble, wobble, wobble legs. And you know, Pao, Jason Cano is fighting Adolfo and Father Time dito Father sa laban time. na to. And he's, do, he's having success against both. Yeah, well, you know, the, you know, there's a lot of boxers that has the, at least momentarily stopped Father Time. And ang ganda nito. And hindi na tayo lalayo, oh. Tony Nietes. Yes. Nonito Donaire. Milan Melindo. Milan Melindo. Hindi mo ba ako pinapatapos? Nandito kasi. But let's see how Adolfo recovers. Yun ang magandang ipakita niya dito. And he is being tested right now in this match. This is 8 rounds of boxing. And tingin mo ba Milan nakarecover na ba enough si Adolfo? that the momentum and the aggression is going to the Migos because he's feeling it. It's a good thing. 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 And this is where experience comes in. You know? What a nice short combination. combinations. And he's really active here. And I think he hurt itong si Adolfo once again. Para sa akin, nakikita ko, grogi pa si Adolfo here. Wala pa siya talaga. Hita mo, that's why ganyan ang pressure ni ano, Nalingos. Consistent kasi, yung tama. I mean, tapa talaga consistency niya ngayon dahil wala pa yun. Hindi pa, not 100% fully recovered itong si Adolfo. That's right. And, and si Kano is throwing beautiful combinations both downstairs and upstairs. upstairs. And Adolfo, a test of his life in the early career of his, his boxing career, is being tested right here. He needs to get out of those ropes. 
Yeah, but the problem is, does he have the legs to get out of there? He's getting punished. That's, that's the problem. Being a young boxer, you rarely get in these situations. So, a test of character to for Adolfo. Test of character, a test of win, and his stamina also being tested at 23 years old. It's looking like the old fighter. Yeah, he's getting punished by the 32. When he has the heart, don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's doing the right thing right now. Uh, retaliating back just like that. He needs to do something else. And Milan, for, Milan fourth round pa lang. This is still a lifetime in boxing. And he's getting punished. I mean, he, he might not be getting going down, but he's getting punished with a lot of punches coming from Manigos. That's right. Kasi si is already walking him down. Wala na respeto sa punching power. Correct, correct. correct. Oy, hinabol pa. And he is fired up. Yan ang mahirap magiging pare. Yung feeling ng boxer na he has the momentum that, you know, I'm fighting a prospect and I'm walking him down and I feel that I'm winning. How do you turn this around sa corner na parang prospect tapos binubugbog ako ngayon ng isang unexpectedly dapat ako yung bumubugbog bali lang talaga ano eh dapat ya uh, pa to change the to change the momentum he need to throw body punch hmm. pag masaktan yung kalaban na atras yan pag hindi niya gagawin yung body punch malabo mangyari na ma-change mo yung ano yung laban hmm. So, so maganda dito Milan, yung game plan nila is switch na nila. Kasi yes. alam na natin na you are not going to knock out Jason Kane. Yes. Mahirap na mangyari to at this point. Yes. And yung, I think the defense din, yung problema lagi siya natamaan eh. Yes, yes. Yun talaga ang problema kasi he's a hard puncher. But he's all looking for a knock to the opponent, uh, to knock the opponent in the face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yun yung, isang, isang lang. Yun ang problema when you get in, in, so in love with your power and you try to just concentrate on the offensive, on the knockout. And let's see what he does here in round number five. May I just remind each and everyone, Kanoy is on a three-fight losing streak. So this will be a big win for Kanoy. At ito, ito ang mga pinakaiintay ng mga veteranong boxers. Mm -hmm. Ito ganitong opportunity and you can see how determined Kanoy is. Hindi na niya papakawalan to. Yes. And uh, Kanoy is still the one moving forward. Although medyo dahan-dahan siya ngayon. Napapagod si Kanoy. Good body shot. Good body shot. Siya yung nababadi. Kaso nga lang, nakikita niya napagod na din yung kalaban. Mas ano, mas natatamaan yung kalaban. So, kahit pagod siya, matake siya. Yeah, at this point, alam mo, I mean, pwede pa rin makanakot ko si Adolfo dahil sa power eh. Yes, yes, sa power. Si Kano is having success dun sa combination niya to the body na left hook tapos upstairs. Ang ganda nun. Good right hand from Kano. I think he hurt Adolfo. But Adolfo is answering back. I mean, he is having success pag siya talaga yung umu-offense eh. Ngayon na, kumakapit na yan, oh. Good left hand. What a war. Test of character. And the jaw. And Kanoy. Grabe. Pinapahirap mo yung na-counter. Pero nakapasok yung body siya ni Kanoy. Napahirapan niya itong bata. Good body. Body sa ganda ng tulad nun. Baliktad pa. Good right hand, overhand right hand. That overhand right has found its home sa mukha nitong si Adolfo. Adolfo doesn't have a head movement. He's getting tagged with the head a lot of times in this round. By the same punch? Yes. Walang head movement eh. So he's not finding the offense and his head is getting thrown every time. By Kano, especially with that right hand. And I don't like the body language of Kano. Oh, that's it. Good, that's it. He's already dragging his feet. You don't know if you're dragging his feet. Another right hand. And this is disheartening, pare. Kano is punishing this young kid who is supposed to be, you know, undefeated and 
outperform itong veteran. Yeah. Yes. Yun na nga, kasi may halo na rin fatigue and uh, adjusted na eh. For a veteran, he knows what he needs to do. And Kano is, uh, oh, you know, Adolfo looks tired. He's showboating a little bit. You know what that means? Nakababa na yung kamay and parang nagkakapuera na ngayon. He lost yung snap doon sa punch punches niya. Yeah, he's dragging himself. He's looking for one punch. Oh uh, yeah, I mean he has the power but Kano needs to continue to push, he needs to sum up everything that he got here because he's winning on score, at least in my opinion, and that's it. Wow, mukhang nakainom from the fountain of youth, itong si Jason Kanoy Manigos. Let's take a look at the action, prime fight, delikado sila dito sa veterano. Nakababa, you know, nakababa yung kamay eh. It's not, I don't think it's uh, partly showboating. It's also fatigue, fatigue. probably, hindi no? Hindi na niya maangat yung kamay niya. Di ba? Ah, hindi. He's his ah, he style talaga yan. Ayun talaga yung style, style niya. Mm. But with the continuous pressure na binibigay ni Jason Cano yung manigos, grabe. Kailangan niya, kailangan niya, ano, ni Adolfo na body shot. Body pa, shot. Para ma-change yung ano, momentum. Okay. Kasi ilang beses niya na tinatry yung sa mukha and it, it's not working. Yeah. Ano pa nga ba? Yes. Saan pa ba tayo pupunta? Sa body na. Yes. And here we go. Tuloy-tuloy ang bakbakan dito sa Hoops Dome. Round number six. Nakatama na maganda. Go ahead, Milan. Both are resting. Both are resting. So, paunahan makakuha ng second win. Yes. Hindi nakakapagod yung sumunod. Yes. That's right. Well, for Manigos, dapat di siya mapagod kasi he's winning. And he's having success when he's the one attacking. So, kasi sayang yung opportunity, malapit na. Huwag mo napapakawalan. That's correct. Kasi dito, veterano si Kanoy. Ang kaya na ng veterano is katawan. I think all of, from the first round to this round, ina-stress na natin yung body shot. Yes. Siguro for the last two to three rounds was all Kanoy, no? So baka after nito, tabla na. Uy! Punch himself out. Nag-iipo ng lakas din. Yeah, yeah. Nag-charge lang. Oh, charge lang. Pero yung right hand talaga na yun. Going inside. Wala nga ang inadak. Parang medyo pagod na rin eh. That right hand. And again, uh, uh, Kanoy attacking. Good right hand from Kanoy. The right hand has been the problem for Adolfo. He cannot seem to get away from that right hand. And you know why? Meron siyang bad habit of always going to his left. And papunta yun ah. sa right hand ni ano, Kanoy. Hmm. And now, Kanoy goes to the body. Perfect opportunity na sana. Yes. So you try to, the older man, you try to tire him or you stamp him. He's looking for knockout kasi. Headshot talaga yun. Ayun, nag-body shot. Then alam ni Kano yun na hindi siya matutunda. He need to change. Yun. Pintados need to change. And a clinch right now for Pintados. 10 seconds. And another show. Bang! And a good way to end the round on the part of Kanoy. Manigas. Honestly speaking, I think that's Manigas. Do you agree? That's definitely a Manigas round. It's 
bibigay natin yung first 3 rounds kay Adolfo. Tapla na tayo. So, ini-ini na mo ba yung score mo kay Adolfo? Ang, ang sure yung last 3 kay uh, Manigos. But, uh, yun na nga, hindi natin alam yung first 3 rounds kasi medyo, ano yun eh, toss up round so may hindi pa hindi pa natin hindi pa sure hindi pa tayo sure but uh, manigos is in a good position is in the driver's seat right now yeah for my point of view think tingin ko lamang si manigos in this fight although i'm not officially scoring it's just that uh, on the expectation of adolfo and the expectation of manigos i mean you can see na mas pagod itong si uh, adolfo i mean pagod sila pareho but the aggressor is the older man let's continue round number 7 and Schedule for eight. No. Picks up where he left off. Itong si Kanoy with the right hand once again. Kini yung right hand yung problema nito ni Adolfo. He cannot see to. Lalo na pag yung right straight. Yun. Sabi nga nila, if it's working, don't change it. But that's a good sneaky uppercut. Yun nga lang parang wala na siyang the same snap as uh, the earlier round. So, siguro isa sa inaasahan din ni Adolfo dito is for Kane to get tired. And looks like he's a little bit tired. Nag-wobble ng kwati doon from his own punch. Good uppercut from Adolfo. Hmm, nice work. Now, Adolfo is uh, doing work. Kane is tired but Adolfo still moving to the head. Head talaga, head hunter talaga. Nagiging ang gusto siya, drunken master na to si Adolfo eh. Parang, uh, hmm, there you go. Matibay ang waka pero katawan ay subukan. Hmm, Good up, naman overhand, right hand. Naman. And upper cut, naman. and left hand from Kanoy. And Kanoy is pushing this corner dito si Adolfo. Adolfo clinching and <laughs> upper cut. What a beautiful oh, shoot. And right hand. He's it's about to go down. And uh, Kanoy pushing the hand. face. My goodness. And, and Pao, just when uh, Adolfo was having some success, big round bumawi itong si Kanoy. Dinagado talaga. Buti na lang matibay-tibay. Good right hand once again. Right hand again. Too much heart for uh, Kanoy Grabe. Yeah. And for Adolfo too. I mean, he's received a lot of punch. That's right, that's right. And he's clinching right now. And the referee is letting them fight. 30 uh, seconds. Again, in right hand na yun. He has landed that many times and Adolfo has received that and has, is still standing. You know, like what uh, Echo Kulis has said to Mr. Milan Melindo, you, you can't keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. Yeah. Here, we, here we go. Oh, shoot. I, I Adolfo, think Adolfo's Adolfo, hurt. Adolfo's definitely hurt. Right hand, He's over right, with the over hand right. I mean, I mean if, if this is any other fighter, but I really make me consider something stopping it. But then it's open punishment thing. What a performance from Jason Cano and Manigos. Unexpected surprise, but nonetheless, we're very happy to see that from the journeyman. And his journey is not done. Look at his work the right straight, the left. And he continued and to punish. Cut. My goodness. Mil Adolfo. Milan, nakita mo yung variety ng punches nitong veterano natin, si Jason Cano yung manigos. Yes. Nakita natin yung natuloy-tuloy, the consistent punches. Consistent. Yes, natatamaan si Adolfo. And then Adolfo countering. And he's looking for knockout and then head on to it. Dapat may katawan talaga. Yeah, I gotta admit to you guys, nung unang nakita ko to si... Uh, Si Kano, I said, I mean, he might not be that conditioned. Look at his body. Kasi nga yung built niya na. Look at, look at him. But now, we are here in the final round. And who, who's more fresh? Eh, mukhang si Kano eh. Diba? Kano is going for the knockout, my friends. 
I mean, that is a warrior in you, but I don't know if that's the right idea, though, for Kanoy. But nonetheless, he wants to go and do the same thing that made him successful in this fight. And the young man is trying to clinch. Yeah, kung ako, sasabihin, lamang na ako dito. I will just co coast around, pero Kanoy! He wants to put on a show, pal. Yes. Yes, sir! Pero ingat din siya, baka mabapuslis na ni Adolfo dito. And although talagang mas maganda yung efficiency dito ni, ano, ni Kano, yung Manigos. Two minutes. Matagal pa to, Pao. Milan, anong tingin mo dapat gawin ni, ano, ni Adolfo? Adolfo. Ah, he needs a lucky punch. He needs a lucky punch. Forget the body punch, he needs a lucky punch. Yes, because wala na po, wala na, wala na oras. Wala na, wala na. Wala na, wala na. Wala na, wala na. Wala na, And the referee is letting them fight. Body shot. Good sidestep. Sayang, di lang nasa. Ibig siguro, knockout punch ang kailangan niya. Yes. Of course. He's way behind one points. One punch, one punch body. Can, can stop. Agot na rin yung kalaban. Yes, I mean, the, the, I think... And the referee is let, is not uh, breaking them up. Yeah. I think itong si Kanoy, I mean, kahit pagawin na siya, kasi yung momentum nasa kanya eh. Yes. Pag meron kang ganun, yung parang anong tawag, adrenaline yan eh. That's right. Wala siyang kinakatakutan kasi hindi wala naman siyang nakikita matamaan sa weakness niya. Kasi yung weakness talaga niya is body shot. Nakikita naman sa kaha. Mm. And the, the referee is letting them fight. I, I think at this point, kailangan ni i-control na ng referee yung action. Oh, the right straight again. And Adolfo needs to do something here. And 40. something big. And now he stumbles following that uppercut from Kano. Eh. Nakabag na yung Kano ni Amerika. Last 30 Manigo seconds. Oh, you know, two or three seconds. Nakabag yung Kano ni. Eh. Wala pa, ulit-ulit ng ginagawa sa pool. Adolfo is on the retreat. Kanan, uppercut sa kanan, the right straight, favorite shot, ah, suki. Ito na, Mil Milan Melindo, less than 20 seconds to go. What a war! Ano masasabi mo, champ? Ganda lang experience, ganda lang laban. Pero, Learning experience. Ulang, ulang talaga yung pintados. And, and Pintados will be angry at himself tomorrow na hindi niya pinalitan. He wants to survive right now. He just wants to survive. And what a performance by the journeyman and a fresh 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 i mean he, he he feels like he won this one he's praying right now look at this he's attacking onslaught dire dire lang. wow and, and god bless on that note pa siguro naman there is no question kung sinong tingin natin na nanalo sa laban na to yes the aggressiveness the counting uh, counts of uh, napapatama sa kala sa ano yeah uh, kalaban you know i, I want to tell you this i i uh, let's look at the replay first <laughs> uh, wala pa lang replay i want to tell you a story on the dugout during the weigh in so i was giving away his shirt so all of the young guns are trying to ask shirt shirt he was not asking me and i didn't thought that he was fighting or he's a boxer and then he approached me sir boxer din po ako and now he is performing. Now you got my eyes. And uh, si Manigos. Manigos. Yes. Oh. Grabe. What a performance. And as a, as a veteran in this fight game, that's how you teach a young blood how to fight. It ain't over till it's over. As long as you're fighting, you give yourself a chance. And uh, it's probably we just need to make this official. But we have to wait for the judges. Maybe, you know, the early rounds went to Adolfo. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of action, we go to the scorecards of our three judges at ringside. Romar Imbo judges Romar Imbodo, Nick Banal, and Edgar Olano scores about 78 to 74. All three are in favor to the winner by unanimous decision. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dalaguete, 
Jason Cano y Manigas. What a win from Jason Cano y Manigas.